What is going on, everybody? My name is Pete, and you guys are watching Paid to Drive and Pay to Drive Vlogs. Hope you guys are doing fantastic out there. If you drive for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, or any of the others, you, my friends, are in the right place to stay up to date with what's going on in the gig economy. So get started right now for free. Hit that red subscribe button down below. Turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever I post something new. And if you wouldn't mind, hit that like button down below. Just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. In fact, leave a comment right now saying liked just so I know you did it and let's jump into it. So really unfortunate stuff here. This is, uh, this unfortunately happened to a very loyal viewer of mine. That's been watching my videos now for about two or three years. Uh, his name is Damon Wolf and I've been hearing about this happening again to drivers and this, this just sucks that it just seems like no one can get this resolved. So if anybody in the chat or the comments has any suggestions um, about what Damon should do, please be very vocal about it um, because, you know, he's in a lousy situation. So he says, hey, Pete, longtime follower of your content here. You already know me uh, well as Damon Wolf, <coughs> excuse me, from both Facebook and YouTube. As you know, I, be I began working for multiple different delivery apps way back in 2016 in the state of Ohio. I then moved to Nevada in 2019 and had the necessary apps update my starting point slash market, etc. Obviously, in accordance with the law, I had to forfeit my Ohio's my Ohio driver's license and obtain a new one from the state of Nevada, which is my current driver's license and is good until 2027. However, when these delivery companies run their random background checks, Checker reports to all of them that my driver's license is expired. Way back in 2019, uh, causing them to deactivate my accounts, like all of his accounts. This happened with DoorDash back in 2020, and due to all the complications with the pandemic, I was never able to reach anyone to get it sorted out. Now it's just happened again with Grubhub, and despite my efforts to contact both Checker and Grubhub with proof of my driver's license uh, is in fact valid and not expired, I received the dreaded email from Grubhub this morning informing me that they have proceeded with the activation and termination of my account. Clearly, Checker are not doing their due diligence in obtaining people's current driver's licenses and are simply just running their reports using whatever driver's license was provided at the original time of hire. If you remain in the same state, that number will stay the same and you won't have any problems. However, if you move to a different state and get a new driver's license, this is clearly going to cause major problems. Uh, Grubhub was basically my last surviving option, so I'm really stressed and bummed out right now, hoping I can get through to somebody somewhere to get this fixed and get my account reinstated. If not, I may seek legal action because this is just so wrong and unfair on so many levels. Anyway, perhaps you could share my email here on your channel and see if anyone else has experienced this issue or this same issue. And if so, was there any solution to solve the problem? Thanks, man. Damon. <clears throat> so, Damon, first and foremost, I'm really sorry that happened to you. Uh, you clearly didn't do anything wrong. Uh, it, it, so it seems, you know, um, I'm definitely going to side with you on this one. Um, I have heard numerous issues with this checker service. Uh, and, and for those of you who don't know, it's spelled uh, checker without the E, C-H-E-C-K-R. Uh, and it, it, they run background checks pretty much for all the gig economy companies. Uh, I believe Uber Eats uses them as well. And in the past two years or so, this is not the first time I've been contacted about this. Uh, a lot of drivers said that they randomly got an email that they failed a background uh, check and they don't even know how. And then all of a sudden they're deactivated. In this situation, it's not a background check that he failed due to, you know, uh, being in jail or locked up or whatever, you know, any misdemeanors or felonies. It's literally his driver's license. He needed to switch it over to from Ohio to uh, Nevada, Las Vegas or, or wherever he's at in Nevada. Um, so it's just it's it just really is upsetting that he did everything by the book. And because these companies, I guess, are so overwhelmed or whatever, you know, doing background checks on everybody, because every time a new driver signs up, I'm pretty sure that these companies have to pay checker to have a background check check done, you know? So it's just, it's really annoying that 
a driver has to get deactivated until somebody needs to get something done. And again, Damon, I myself have never had this issue, so I've never had to reach out to Grubhub or DoorDash to get their attention. But I would say if they are not, you know, responding in any way, I would say try calling, emailing, doing whatever you can and, and st stick with it and, you know, uh, be consistent until you get somebody. Of course, be respectful. Don't spam them or anything. Um, you know, you may have to go a legal avenue. Again, I'm not here to give legal advice, but like you mentioned in the email, it's not right because it's stressing you out now because this was your source of income. Now, I'm sure people are going to say, this is why you're not supposed to do this full time. Sure. This is a complication of doing this full time. Um, so, Damon, if I hear anything, I'll definitely email you. Um, for everyone drivers watching the, the video live stream or the premiere or whatever right now in the chat or in the comment section, load up the comments. Um, and if you have any advice, just say, Hey, Damon, try this or, you know, anything, anything you can provide would be really helpful. Um, whenever I know exactly what to do, I'll just tell you directly or I'll make it a video and tell you directly. But right now I have no clue, uh, other than reaching out, you know, um, I don't know if you've contacted support at doordash.com or support at grubhub.com or driver support at grubhub.com uh, or GH, I think it's GH drivers or GH delivers at grubhub.com. You know, just send them all the same thing. Hi, my name is Damon Wolf. This is what happened. I got deact wrongfully deactivated due to a, a random background check, my driver's license, etc. But I hope you figure this out sooner than later because I, I can imagine how stressful that is. And of course, if you ever have anything you want to share with me, a comment, a question, a topic, a story, an article, whatever it is, be sure to send it to me at paid to drive stories at gmail.com. Also, for a quicker response, you guys can always reach out and message me through Patreon at patreon.com forward slash paid to drive. That link is in the description down below or in the pin top comment. And anyone who signs up as a patron as my way of saying thank you is I give you guys shout outs in all my new videos. And as you can see, there are all the names right here on your screen of our current patrons as of the current moment of this video being made. So huge shout outs to all of them. If you guys want to sign up, links are down below. As I mentioned, who's going to be the next patron? Maybe it will be you. And of course, I hope every single one of you out there is saving lots of money on your gas using the free gas app called Get Upside. The link is in the description down below. Just scroll down this page and click on the link that says Get the Free Gas app. It's very simple to use. It'll tell you how to install it on whatever kind of phone, tablet, or device that you have. And then from that point, all you got to do is go to your gas station, pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside Gas app, and within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. Links in the description down below. Make sure to download it today. And finally, for all your t-shirts, hoodies, and goodies, visit paidtodrivestore.com. That link is in the description, and you guessed it, the pinned top comment down below. We've got lots of great new designs, colors, sizes, you name it. We probably have it on sale every day at paidtodrivestore.com. That link is in the description down below. And the pinned top comment. And of course, if you made it to the end of this video, I'm extremely grateful for all of you. Let me know by leaving a comment in the chat or the comment section below saying end 100, E-N-D 100. Just lets me know you did it. Don't forget to hit that red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever I post something new. And if you wouldn't mind it, hit that like button down below. Just lets me know. You enjoyed the video and it lets YouTube know that I'm doing a good job. In fact, leave a comment right now saying liked L I K E D just so I know you did it. And until next time, get that money, get that honey, keep hustling and keep bustling. And we'll see you next time right here on paid to drive and paid to drive logs. And as always drive safe, be well, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.